Hi, I'm Becca, and this is my husband, Gabe. That's me. Welcome to the podcast celebrating Jack Russell Terrier Dogs. And all the joys of companionship with canines of every kind. Each week, we'll explore all the heartfelt, humbling, and hilarious stories that only dog parents can truly relate to. We're Jack Russell Parents. So, Gabe... My friend was walking her dog and someone approached trying to make conversation. Uh She said, what a beautiful dog. What breed is it? And my friend's like, it's a German Shepherd. Gorgeous. Does it have a name? The Lord. The Lord? Why would you name it that? Because the Lord is my shepherd. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I I walked right into that one. (laughs) Yeah, you stepped right into it. Now I got to find a place to scrape off my shoe. (laughs) Stop it. That's a good joke. I liked it. (laughs) Welcome to the show, puppy parents. January is Walk Your Pet Month. In honor of Walk Your Pet Month, please stay with us as we stroll away from our silly jokes and jaunt into the benefits of walking your dog. Yes, a new year often encourages us to walk our dogs in our neighborhoods and parks. And I think this is an excellent addition to you and your pup's routine. If walking your dog is not part of your normal day, hopefully this episode will encourage you to get out there and get walking. Absolutely. And there really are so many benefits to walking your pup. And today we have a wonderful article from VCA Hospitals and, of course, our own personal dog walking experience, too. The article, The Benefits of Walking Your Dog by Krista Williams and Lynn Buzzhart, talks about several ways walking improves your dog's physical health. And I would add that every item we talk about not only applies to your dog's health, but to yours as well. Of course, it's important to consult with your doctor and your veterinarian before embarking on any exercise program. Yes. And the first way walking can improve physical health is weight and body condition. So the article quotes, regular exercise like walking is a good way to burn those excess calories and keep the pounds off for both you and your dog. Carson, our JRT, does much better with his overall weight when he goes on daily walks. The daily is important. Yes, as do I. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) My overall weight is better when I walk him every day. The regularity of it really helps me, especially walking in the evenings after dinner. Another physical improvement is joint health. Immobility is another common problem. Joints, even old ones, need to work. People and pets get stiff when sedentary for too long, and keeping joints in motion improves their function. Yes, I'm at that point in my age where I get up from my chair in my office and I'm like, oh, oh, that hurts. Everything's stiff. Before I could fall out of a tree and now I'm like, oh, I slept wrong. Yes, (laughs) you know, y'all know, you know what we're talking about. So this is important for Carson, especially this joint health, to keep his joints strong, especially after his ACL surgery, right? So the daily walks really help strengthen his joint and help heal it, too. I think it helped the healing process. Yeah, his leg was so emaciated. It just was literally just skin and bone on, on that yeah. one leg. It was, it was amazing how fast that muscle went away. But daily walks after a few months, and it's almost back. It's yeah. almost back. He's got some muscle and meat around that joint. Again. <laughs> his, his hams are still lopsided, but he's getting there. <laughs> Finally, walking your pup improves digestive and urinary health. So regular walking helps regulate the digestive tract. And some dogs, like some people, <laughs> refer to go on a schedule and providing your dog with routine trips outside prevents constipation. Makes sense. Also, when urine sits in the bladder for long periods of time, bladder infections are more likely to occur. So regular emptying of the bladder keeps this part of the anatomy happy as well. And I'm going to tell this really brief story because <laughs> in our neighborhood, people get a little particular about whether your dog pees or poops on their yard, right? Well, listen, my dog has somewhat of a schedule, but when I take him on a walk, that gets his digestive tract moving and he's got to go. I do my best to avoid your lawns, but sometimes I can't help it. I'm not in control of his digestive system. We follow the law. <laughs> I digress. I pick it up. Okay. Those are some awesome ways walking improves you and your dog's physical health. And it's important to remember that walks with you improve you and your dog's life in other ways, too. Walking your dog regularly can improve their mental health. Dogs do not like to be bored. And if you give them something constructive to do, like take a walk, they may be less likely to do something destructive. 
like chewing the couch or violating a pillow. Walking, Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> but being yes. real. Walking exercises the mind as well as the body. Watching wildlife, exploring new paths, seeing other people with their pets, and so on are great mental stimulation for your dog that he just can't get by being in a fenced area all the time. Walking also releases excess energy and helps dogs sleep better at night. Y'all Jack Russell parents know what I'm talking about. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. And Carson seems to really feel like he's accomplishing something when he's on a walk, like he's conquering his territory, right? Which makes him feel proud, I think. All good for his mental health. And he loves to say hi to everybody, especially certain neighbors he gets to visit. It really like perks him up. He's more tired and more fulfilled and therefore more behaved. So important. The article states, walks also improve emotional health. You are the center of your dog's universe, and he craves your attention. And what a better way to spend quality time with one another than by taking a walk. Spending that one-on-one time with your dog will deepen your bond and help deter attention-seeking behavior, such as excessive barking or whining. They do that, folks, to get your attention. I know that walking outside in beautiful nature greatly improves my emotional health. It gives me some time to think and take some deep breaths. And getting that exercise with the dog all at the same time is perfect. Whenever I ask you what you want to do, even for your birthday, nine times out of ten, all you want to do is take a walk or go for a hike. Just be outside. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) That's all. I'm just like my dog. You're a cheap date. It's awesome. (laughs) Just want to go for a walk. That's it. Finally, walking your pup improves your personal health and creates a support system. The article continues. Many people need outside motivation to work out. (laughs) I need more than that, but (laughs) outside motivation is definitely helpful. And some people depend on an exercise buddy to get them off the couch, period. But what happens when your exercise partner gets stuck at work or stuck in traffic or has some other commitment or they just fall off the radar? Your dog is only committed to one thing. That's you. That makes him the perfect exercise partner. He's always available and willing to accompany you on a walk. Oh, yes. And I will also say for myself, in terms of personal health and support system and motivation, I'm not real great about going to the gym. Like if I've got to go someplace first before I start working out, it's not (laughs) likely to happen. So walking your dog, at least for us, we're grateful to have a place where we can just walk out the front door and take him for a walk. So hang tight and we'll be right back. Eleven-year-old Walter just may die of boredom during the most boring summer ever. While exploring an abandoned garden, Walter discovers a mystical elf world where all dead plants spring to life at his touch. The downtrodden elves think Walter is there to save them with his new life-giving powers. To defeat the wicked Ichabod von Schnathoff, before he sucks everyone's joy dry with his never-ending list of rules, Walter will need to use his best power yet, his imagination. In a dying, oppressed world, one boy has the power to bring freedom and life. Walter Plume and the Dehydrated Imagination will take you and your middle grade reader on a thrilling journey while igniting the depths of your imagination. Boys the Book says, beautiful imagery leads to spectacular world building in this fantasy that will leave the young reader glued to the pages. Relatable characters add to the magic of the story with never a dull moment. Get your magical fingers on a copy of Walter Plume and the Dehydrated Imagination by Rebecca Lynn Morales, now at Amazon.com. Find out more at WalterPlume.com. Let Walter and his story awaken your beautiful and creative imagination. And we are back with Instadog of the Week. Today we bring you the one and only Pop the Bulldog. Yay! That's at Pop the Bulldog. All spelled out, one word. Oh my goodness, y'all. This little pup. He is a bulldog, as his name (laughs) is. 
so insightful. Uh, thank you. But those wrinkles and jowls of this little squishy face. Imagine the cutest, most perfect bulldog. And he's that's, it. That's it, man. Yes, he's just so endearing looking, right? Like you just want to hug him and squeeze him. He's so cute. <laughs> you guys are going to love this guy. His bio says Pop, a.k.a. Big Papa. Big Papa. <laughs> He's a lover, not a fighter. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And they do have their email, so if you want to reach out and contact them for any reason, I'm sure they'd be happy to connect with you. So one of my favorite pictures is actually him in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> And a sun hat on, and he's sitting on a chair. And the quote says, should I wear this hat? (laughs) That's all? (laughs) No. Sorry, I'm laughing at what it says. Who needs a sugar doggy for vacation? Oh, my gosh. Big Papa is ready. Oh, stop it. (laughs) Oh, he is so cute. You know, because he's got that big, like, droopy frown ultimately but it's he's just so sweet looking so expressive sometimes his eyes look so sad and other times they look so happy yeah he wears his heart on his wrinkly face he does (laughs) (laughs) Uh, one of my other favorite pictures it's a how it started how it's going, you know, comparison. And so the first one is he's just a little squishy baby sitting on the balcony. He looks like he's half asleep. And then the how's it going is him sitting with like a crown on his head and he's sitting at a dining room table. (laughs) And the caption says, exactly one year ago, I was on lockdown missing my friends. Then I met you all and you sent me so much love. Thank you so much. I love you all. Aww. You guys have brightened up his life. (laughs) He's so funny. Oh, just look. Did you see that little one where he's a tiny, tiny bulldog? Back then, he was Lil Papa, L I L Papa. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or Throwback Thursday. Man, some of these pictures, he just looks so happy, right? Mm-hmm. When he's standing next to one of those automated vacuums or this Fourth of July picture when he's next to the grill with a bunch of hot dogs. Mm hmm. Yeah, hot dogs will make you happy, huh, buddy? <laughs> He seems to be really happy in the pictures with food. He's yeah. so cute. <laughs> yes. Did you see the one where he's driving his little BMW? <laughs> what? He's the fast and the furriest. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he barely how fits in cute. that thing. <laughs> I wonder if they have to leave the door open because he doesn't fit. <laughs> if he can't shut the door. <laughs> it's like me after New Year's. Oh, uh, he's going I'm holding there. the door because he can't shut all the way. <laughs> Ah, uh, he is so great, y'all. So pop over to Instagram <laughs> right now. See what you did there. Uh, you see what I did there? And follow this darling squishy wishy pup at pop the bulldog. This guy's expressions will make you laugh and surely brighten your day. Next up is puppy parent replies. <laughs> We asked fellow puppy parents on social media, what is your dog walking routine? Yeah, so let's start with ours. So we, mostly me. (laughs) Hey. (laughs) To be fair. Well, to be fair, you go to work, right? I'm working from home. So (laughs) I mostly walk Carson almost every day when the weather is reasonable, right? If it's freezing out, he and I do not want to go. But I like to get a walk in late morning or early afternoon, and it's a nice break during my workday. And then on the weekends, in the morning, I like to take a walk. It's really peaceful out, frankly, because there's not a lot of people. (laughs) It's a (laughs) quiet neighborhood. It's wonderful. Otherwise, we'll both take him for a walk in the evening. So we try to get in a daily walk. It doesn't always happen. Life is life. But we really do uh, try to do that. Lisa H. has a very similar routine. She does one walk per day, usually between one and two hours at a time. Oh, that's awesome. Those nice long walks. Lisa, mine aren't that long. (laughs) Feels like an hour. (laughs) That's great. Susanna R. says, oh, she has a great routine. So 30 (laughs) minutes at 5.30 a.m. Good for you. That's amazing. 30 minutes at lunch. And earlier in the summertime, obviously, because it's hot, 30 plus minutes at 4.30, 45 minutes at 6.30, and then 15 minutes around 8 o'clock. 
She says, we don't have a fenced backyard, so she needs lots of walking. Yeah. Susanna, good for you. That's awesome that you're putting in that much time for both you and your pup getting out walking. That's a healthy pup right there. Mm -hmm. Sue H says, my dog walks me regularly. (laughs) 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 I don't know what the standard for regularly is, but. We get you. Yeah. We definitely feel like we're getting walked a lot of the time, too. (laughs) Yeah. Rose K says, I walk Yogi Bear. Oh, her dog's <laughs> name, Yogi Bear. It's sometime between 7 a.m. and 1, and then again at 6 p.m., and that is his routine. They just know. Yeah, Carson knows, too. He feels gypped if he doesn't get to go on a walk. Mm-hmm. He'll be like, ah, I think it's about time. Mm, you yeah. ready? Let's go. And lastly, Sally A says, Eddie walks me twice a day, one hour each. Otherwise, he's bouncing off the walls. And she includes an adorable picture of her Jack. And he's wearing a jaquetta. Yes. Red checkered. (laughs) Really cute. (laughs) Thank you for all your replies, puppy parents. This year, make a special effort to get outside and stroll, walk, meander, take a constitutional. It's bound to improve the physical and mental health of both you and your pups. Did you enjoy this episode? Did you learn from the content? Or did you just have a good, relatable laugh? Well, now what? It's time to subscribe, follow, keep listening, and give a positive review on the Apple Podcast app. Then share the podcast with other puppy parents. This will allow us to connect you and your friends with fun, dog-loving content week after week. Until next time, this is Becca and Gabe, the Jack Russell parents. Say bye, Carson. (laughs) We'd love to connect with you online at jackrusselparents.com or on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at JRT Podcasts. That's at JRT for Jack Russell Terrier podcast. The Jack Russell Parents podcast is produced by Earball Audio. Jack Russell Parents is brought to you in part by Super Chewer. From the makers of BarkBox, Super Chewer is a themed monthly delivery of toys and treats made especially for dogs who play harder and demand a challenge. Simply go to jackrusselparents.com and click the Super Chewer link to enjoy their great offers while also supporting our podcast. Mm-hmm.